Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 19th of 2023 well, it is titled Space Station Solar Prominences Sun. So what do we see here? Well, here we do see an image of a portion of our sun. And we can see the very uh, textured surface. The sun is not a completely smooth surface. And there's a lot of activity going on around our sun. Now we can see some of this when we look off toward the edge. When we look toward the limb of the sun there, we can see solar prominences stretching up above. And this is material that has been lifted off the surface of our sun by the strong magnetic field. So as the magnetic fields pop through the surface of the sun, they can do it in a couple of different ways. They can do it slowly, which lifts a prominence and material off the sun that then rains back down. However, they can also do this very fast and they can whip material out and actually expel it from the surface of the sun and we call that a solar flare where material is released at very high speeds, although the process overall is very similar. And they are both associated with activity on our sun as our sunspots. However, the dark spot you see against the surface of the sun is not a sunspot, but is indeed our International Space Station in Earth orbit and was captured here as it happened to pass in front of the disk of the sun. Of course, it's nowhere near the sun. It is in low Earth orbit, just a couple of hundred miles up above Earth's surface, while the sun would be 93 million miles away. So it just happens to be in that same direction and had to time it to get it when it would pass across the visible face of the sun. Now we can see it there and we can see the solar panels on either side. And if we look to the upper right, we can actually see an, a larger image of the space station. And you can see actually the dragon capsule attached to the lower portion of it uh, in that inset image. Now you might wonder how you could get all of this in one single image. And the truth is you can't because you have things at widely varying brightnesses. So it takes multiple images to be able to get something like this. Now everything is still taken from the same location with the same camera. But you can vastly overexpose an image to get the limb of the sun to see the detail there. You would have to underexpose the image to bring out the detail in the sun. And then you would have to time everything just right to get that third image as the space station crosses across across the face of the sun. So getting all those together and then putting them together gives us something like the image that we see for today. So that was our picture of the day for November 19th of 2023. It was titled Space Station Solar Prominences Sun. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Dark Horse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.